If I could be honest Here in this moment Jenna, I can think of so many first and special moments that we have shared, but looking back on when I fell in love with you is quite difficult to pinpoint. Almost immediately after meeting you, I knew that I had found someone special, and ever since that day, each moment was when I knew I was falling in love with you over and over again. To my husband, I feel like I've been counting down forever for this day to come, and it's finally here. From the moment we first met, I knew there was something special between us. I try to think back and remember exactly when I knew I had fallen in love with you. But the truth is, I feel as though it was an automatic end, something clicked. There was no questioning it. I remember having to prevent the words, I love you, from slipping out of my mouth, thinking it was too soon and you didn't have possibly felt the same. I know you think you said it first, but I'd already had a million times in my head. When I first met Evan a few years ago, the first impression I had was he was extremely polite and very quiet. But he also had a presence about him, a presence of calmness and patience. Evan is truly a fine young man with a great family. So I welcome Evan to our family and look forward to many great memories with him and his family for the many years to come. I'm Lindsay. I'm Jenna's older sister. I've been obsessed with Jenna for nearly 30 years, and I've been thinking about having the honor of giving this speech for practically just as long. But I honestly struggled to write this. I wanted to say everything. Everything about how much I love Jenna, how smart, how caring, how funny she is. And honestly, even all the words in the world wouldn't be enough for my girl. How could I possibly explain to all of you what it's like to have a sister and a best friend like Jenna? I said everyone needs a Jenna, but actually what we found out is everyone needs a Jevin. Evan, Jenna, this was a beautiful, beautiful wedding. And Evan, I am I'm truly honored that you trusted me to be your best man tonight for this, this special day. Evan and I are very different in a lot more ways than one. Honestly, I have always envied Evan. He's always known what he wanted to do. He's always wanted to help people. He's always wanted to do what was right in this world. He's a good person. He's always taken care of his own. He's one of the most selfless person people I've ever met. And I think everyone here can speak for it. He'll do anything for anyone. Evan and Jenna, the church here as you joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. This is such a, a beautiful day for the two of you, for your family, as well as for the whole community, because you're beginning a journey of love today. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. As you make your vows, God is making you a promise as well, that he will grace you with his love so that your love for each other can bear the greatest possible fruit. You've made promises here today that are more than just words. What you've said to each other, it carries a lot of weight, and I want to make sure that you keep that top of mind as you go through the next phases of your life. This day is going to come and go. You'll go on your honeymoon. You'll come back to your day to day. So I just want you to remember these moments and these feelings and carry that with you through your lives.
You two are the perfect pair. I love you both so much. So cheers to you tonight and to all of your tomorrows. Jevin forever. The best is yet to come. And the Lord be with you all. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth.